<laughs> I'm, I'm a great Okay, help. welcome to Detroit Comics Shop Talk. Uh, my name is Lee Gaddis, and this is... Miles Van Meter. And we are here to discuss uh, what's happening at Detroit Comics this week. Miles, what do we have this week? Uh, this week, uh, we have um, a whole load of Marvel Comics. They've been unloading number ones like every week for the past like month or so, and they're going to be unloading them for another month after after this. So like Daredevil number one just came out, and that was a hot one. Um, but then you you know you have a lot of like a lot of the new X Men books okay. coming out this week, and some of the Inhumans, and uh, Doctor Strange number three came out. So some are some are a little bit behind, some are a little bit you know still coming out, you know. Um, I think Doctor Strange is one of the more, more interesting books mm -hmm. uh, that Marvel has unleashed on this new... So uh, Marvel has a boatload of number ones that people should be looking at oh, yeah, right in sure. time for the holiday season. Exactly. So if you have somebody on your gift list for this December that is looking forward to a comic book or that we might be interested in and you want that last minute stocking stuffer, think about stopping by Detroit Comics and picking up uh, a number one that could be worth some money. Sure. Someday. 20 day. years from now. 25. 30 maybe? 100 years. Yeah. One, one day. As long as they don't make a million of them, you'll be all right. <laughs> don't, don't, get, don't get the Death of Superman number one. No. I think that's still for 25 cents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got a bunch of number ones coming out this week. <clears throat> um, so, out of, so out of the books that, that have come out this week, what, what, what's your favorite top pick? Uh, my favorite uh, book is a Marvel book. It's Howard the Duck. And this is issue number two of the new series after they started the renumbering. And um, I just, uh, I like, this is one of the Marvel books that I think is doing uh, something really interesting. Really going out on a limb, doing something really funny and weird. And uh, not doing your typical superhero book. And they're doing that a lot. Um, after the experiments like Miss Marvel... They decided to go even further, you know, and I think even with the success of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, they decided to like let you know have where they fun. introduced Howard the Duck in exactly the at the, yeah, yeah at the very end of the movie, right? So you have you have comics like um, Howard the Duck, the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, um, uh, uh, Patsy Walker, Hellcat is coming out, and these books they they're very much different from the norm of what the big two were doing and uh, usually doing, but now Marvel is deciding to just have fun with it. And um, they're arguably the best books that are coming out, that Marvel is putting out. So do you think because it breaks out of that normal superhero world and they give the creative talent a free reign to do it, that you're getting more, uh, more variety in comics and a better quality of writing in the comic book? Yeah, and you're, you're, you're reading stories that they haven't been able to tell because they've been stuck in this rigid blueprint for so long. Mm -hmm. So uh, another book that I really like is The Vision. And uh, the Vision has this, uh, he has like a family. He created this whole family to be like this regular nuclear suburban family. And they're just, uh, you know, and, and everyone thinks it's weird. They're like, oh, all these people are robots. They're not real, you know? And they're, they're it's, it but is. What really it's, makes us human. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a surreal book, but it's like, this is a story. So that what, we, what question do you think that, that, that that's asking out of that book? What, uh, what do you mean exactly? The, what, the Vision book what question is it asking about like he wants to create a family obviously he's he's a sentient being right yeah yeah right? yeah right and he's I mean, humanoid but there's other humanoids living uh in earth society that right. aren't humans i think it's just a matter of he wanted he wants to disconnect himself from the world that he had before mm -hmm. in more ways than one mm -hmm. and in this way he just wants to be normal Fascinating. Yeah. So if that's your thing and you want something a little different miles recommends howard the duck and and, 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 and a, a lot of a lot of their new books. A lot of new right. books. So yeah. come into Detroit Comics and check it out and get Miles rep, uh, recommendations. My recommendation is for um, Star Wars uh, Vader Down. Uh, I highly recommend this one. It's a really good one. It's reading it. I want when I finish it. I want it more. This to me uh, is is the closest you can get to a Star Wars movie without it being a Star Wars movie. It has that feel. The artwork is fantastic. The writing is superb. Um, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend this as my my pick of the week. So if you want to get something uh, that has that feeling, I highly recommend Star Wars Vader Down. Okay, cool. That's yeah. So, uh, 
we also have uh, uh, our part of the discussion where we talk about what's going on in media, right? Because this is Detroit Comics, and now comic books tie into movies and TV Every, shows. Yeah, it's all one big. Everything's connected. Everything, no. yeah, one big multiverse. So DC, you tried to run away with it, <laughs> but you can't get away from it. Can't figure it out. Can't figure it out, right? So um, in movies, uh, this week. Did uh, you see it yet? Yeah, oh yeah. Did you guys see it yet? So tra- you, spoiler you, alert. We'll yeah. give you five, four, three, two, one to look away. Okay, spoiler. Go for it. Uh, yeah, the Batman vs. Superman new trailer, it's probably the worst trailer I've ever seen. Like, it's like, they never made a trailer before. They were like, let's just show a short version of the film. I think they gave away too much. They the gave the away- last 20 seconds was too much, but now realize that the companies that make the trailers aren't the same guys that are responsible for the movie. They hand it over to a totally different marketing department, and they screwed the pooch because the Captain America trailer was off the hook. Civil War... Black Panther, my boy's about to throw down with his vibranium weave uh, suit that he has. So I'm really looking forward to that. And his dad's going to be in it. It's going to be awesome. So it's going to be awesome. And I think Warner Brothers heard some breathing on the back of their neck. They heard footsteps behind them. And they panicked and they put too much into their trailer. Uh, We didn't need to see that last 20 seconds. Everything up to that last 20 seconds I was okay with. But again, you gave you gave away the movie, um, which has been a, a trend in movies lately, where you see the whole movie in the trailer. Yeah, but even even some movies that are you know offender, they're like offenders of that law that you can't show like the whole movie. Even they do it, especially not the third act. It's die. Yeah, they it's bad sometimes. Where I'm like, I you know I scoff at it, like oh they, they show too much. This this particular trailer did it to another level. Where I felt, I really the whole felt, movie. yeah, I really felt like I watched like the most important parts of the film mm-hmm. watching the trailer. They which, introduce the characters, yeah, right. Batman, which, Superman, their alter egos. They introduce right. them. They have a fight, right. They introduce them again. Uh, they uh, they talk again, and then they have another fight, and they introduce the villain, the third act. Because Batman's in his bat armor, he's out of his bat armor. They fight. Right. He, they're, he, they're, he's in his bat armor. They fight. Then he's back into his standard outfit. Well, and then they, but it's, uh, they show them teaming up. At, at the, the end. Very end of the, yeah. So Batman v Superman, your whole title just got blown. Yeah, the whole concept of the film is that they're at odds. Odds. And, and you never should have shown them together, working together. That's all. Right, That's yeah. All the saying. the yeah. fact that they're teaming up together against a common villain, it just, uh, of course we all know that was going to happen, but we just didn't, like, you kind of just have to leave that up to us how it's going to get there. But the fact that they show us in the trailer, it ruins. It ruins. The it whole... takes you takes you right out of it. Yeah. And like, like I said, what, what I need I'm to not see it. I, anymore. I, I yeah. can wait. I, I can wait for the DVD at this point. Yeah, I'll just wait for it to be on HBO too. Okay, so there you go. Um, also, uh, this week we've had um, new Star Wars footage uh, come out for the Kylo Ren, which I haven't seen any of it yet. Okay, I'm gonna spoil it. For I mean, you. I've seen the Kylo Ren is the villain in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Luke Skywalker. Oh shit! And and nor is it. Okay, look, the villain in the movie is Supreme Leader Snoke. Kylo Ren is his Darth Vader. It's not Darth Jar Jar. It's not Darth BB-8. It's it's not. And Luke Skywalker is not in the Kylo Ren. So all these guys with these wild, crazy um, ideas about. You know, plots about the movie. Just wait for the movie. Just wait for the movie yeah. to come out and see it, right? Don't, don't. I mean, I, to me, Star Wars is about to step over that line if they show any more. They're doing it. All right, I'll admit Cause, that cause they're he, that the, they're oversaturating uh, us with the um, with the marketing. Okay. But I will admit that uh, they're. I think I feel like they're doing a really good job at uh, not showing too much. So, like, so you think that they're repeating? The same stuff that they've shown in each trailer, just yeah. showing different views of it, or a couple yeah, seconds it's, more. Yeah, like a okay. little second, a little snippet, a little picture a little here point, and there. Different point of but view. But like, yeah. you haven't seen Luke Skywalker yet, and I feel like there are other. In the last frame, you know, he's there. He's the last frame. Oh, he is. Is this? No, face? he's not. He is. No. Comment below. Let us know. <laughs> well, I haven't seen it. Uh, he, I'm saying they it. show Luke Skywalker. In the last trailer, his his just his face. It's just his face. Mm. Right, and I thought they were going to save that too, but they didn't. So I'm I'm thinking that again they think that right, never mind that, that I take everything I said back yeah so the people that aren't fans don't know about the movie because they kept it so secret for so long people that are I mean some people all the way up until October didn't know that a new Star Wars movie was coming out no way wait that's, that's why they, that's why all these TV shots are going on people that well, watch the Super Bowl aren't necessarily Star Wars fans and they yeah. didn't know until the Super Bowl commercial came that there was a new Star Wars movie that was ten months ago eight months ago. 
Super Bowl was not ten. February. That was eight. No, 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 no. What was the just? What was it just played just recently? World Series. Yeah, whatever the. I, I'm not a sports guy, so I don't know. But whatever the when the when the trailer debuted, that it was, was just like a Monday Night Football. Game. Monday Night Football yeah. game. Yeah, on that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, football fans. Um, that the uh, that the Monday Night Football they debuted that trailer, and and their response from people was that we didn't even know there was a movie coming out. So us, so people who are fans of Star Wars knew about it and been following it for a year, and other people they only have to wait a couple of months, and right. then they get a new Star Wars movie, right? They don't have to wait a year. I still don't buy this. I think a lot of people knew that this movie was coming out. Okay, or maybe I'm in my little comic book store bubble. Comment below, yes or no, if you <laughs> think that somebody in your family didn't know there was a new Star Wars movie coming out, because there was plenty of people in mine who didn't. Um, also, uh, yeah, so that trailer. So I think that they might be pushing. Pushing a little bit much if they keep releasing more stuff. I, I agree. I've I've uh, dialed. I for a while I was all about reading everything that I could. Now you're dialing and, back. Yeah, it's too close to the movie. Exactly. It's like I've I've dialed it back. I'm seeing commercials. I'm seeing lots of tie-in commercials. Like I saw a car commercial last night that would tie in. It was like it was like Fiat. Tied right. in with Star Wars, and I'm like, no, no, this is too marketing much. is off the this hook. This is yeah. too much. So well, I, the, the Duracell battery was the first one that I saw. Oh, the I girl with the lightsaber. And oh, then they go through her house, and the yeah. stormtroopers are all outside, and they're fine. And then she uses force powers. Now, maybe I'm reading too much of that, but that means that... that um, Serial makes you a Jedi. Right? Yeah, that, or, wait, was it Serial? Is that... No, no uh, the, the Duracell battery. battery. Duracell battery, right? So, so, so we're oh, looking at, you know, are they, are they leaking things that... Sh I mean, we know that, 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 that Rey is going to be a force user, right? We don't know... Do we know that? If she... Well, we do now thanks to the battery commercial. Oh, wait, do they show her doing it? Yeah, oh. they show her pushing some swords with the force. Oh, right? man. So, so that now they're spoiling stuff, right? And um, But anyway, so I think that, that, that media companies that are doing these promotionals and tie-ins may be spoiling things in the movies after they spent so much time trying to keep it close. But I think it's close enough now to the movie's release that we don't have to worry about it that much. So if you want to keep yourself pure, just you know, stay off social media for the next three weeks. Yeah, if you can do that. For next eight, seventeen, sixteen days. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little over two weeks. Yeah. So, so also, um, we have uh, Jessica Jones. Oh, Jessica Jones! I loved it. Right? I thought it was all great. of it at once. Well, so how do you un how do you not spoil that when you're talking to friends? If you watch episode one through ten, but your friends have only watched episode one, two, and three. Yeah. You know, so that so that's a tough one. Netflix. I, I really like the fact that all the content is on, and you can binge watch as much as you want. Um, I really do like that, but how do you... Uh, I think they should split it into twos. If they gave you, like, half of the... Half of it, and then wait, like, a couple weeks, and then give you the other half. But you can watch it at your leisure. It's all there. Yeah, I know, but... You don't have to watch them all 20 episodes at once. Right, I get that, but I, I feel like you, you're going to binge anyway. You're, it's going to... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. They've been <laughs> watching. Come on, now. Come on. <laughs> so, before you... Man, okay, for all of you... People who are new to this, you used to go to a place called Blockbuster and you would buy a season of a show that your friends have already watched and you would just sit and put the DVD in and press play and five hours later you would finish watching it, right? right? That's how that worked. Or so you, Netflix or you used to just record the show on a bit, on tape. And then when you remember to go back and watch it, yeah. you would go back and watch it, right? right? So, so binge watching is anything new. Netflix is just taking it to an art, right? They released all yeah. 20 episodes all at once of an entire season, so you watch it on your own level. And I like having that level of control. So if I want to watch four episodes in a row, I can. If I want to watch two episodes in a row, I can. Yeah. You know? So for me, I think that's a much better way to consume uh, the content. But the problem that you have is is when you're with a group of people like we do, like we get together Detroit Comics, and we talk about things. Some people have watched it. Some people haven't. Some people have watched more than others. So you really have... So there's a lot of self-censoring that has to go on. So that control now is in your hands about how much you want to reveal about a show with friends that are also watching that same show. But I know there's enough shows out that some... A lot of people aren't watching the same thing or will be able to watch it. It won't even be a spoiler for them. You know? Because I did that with The Wire. I just binge-watched The Wire when oh, really? it finally ended. Yeah. I just went and watched everything all the way through. I watched it as it was coming out. Yeah, I watched the first season part of the second season and then my schedule changed and I couldn't watch it anymore, uh, okay, all right. right? Yeah. And then when it all got released on Netflix, I just watched all of it. Well, what was cool, I mean, there's a little bit of an aside, but I, mm -hmm. what made The Wire cool was that every season was kind of a different storyline. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, and but I got to watch all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And and, and so for so for people who are who are watching 
that type of media who are getting into it and consuming it, it becomes a self-control thing around your friends about not relating too much, even though I know you're really excited about it. And with Daredevil season two about to start, Jessica Jones, and I hear that um, they're going to do the whole of in, uh, Defenders lineup with uh, Power Man, who is in Luke, Luke Cage, yeah, who is Luke. in uh, Jessica Jones. Well, yeah, they're working on the Luke Cage show right now. They're filming it right yeah, now. Yeah, they're filming it right now. They've yeah, already released. Right here they've, they've, already, they've already released photos, I think. Right. And then, uh, and then, I think they're going to do a Daredevil season two, and then Iron Fist. And All then right. I think I think Iron Fist is supposed to follow follow that. Okay. So, so you have the tie-in between the movies, the TV shows, and the comic books, and you know, and now you can consume them in bulk the way you would a graphic novel, right? So, comic books really started that whole. You know, wait for the wait for right. the bound graphic novel we're, we're, edition yeah, and, and I, read all the issues at once. I remember, like, I loved being able to say, "Oh, I'll wait for the trade." Oh, wait, wait, wait for, for the trade. Right. That was like, yeah, you know, catchphrase. We Not, started it. Yes, yeah, comics started it before Netflix. All right. So come down to Detroit Comics, get your comics fix in, and uh, let's talk some superhero business. Thanks for joining us. You gotta edit that part out, right? <laughs> you weren't I think there.